Well, it seems like the month long anniversary is back, even though there are only 10 days where you should really farm. There are some additions since last year, of which most notably to me is the fix of the cakes. Sort of. Let's see how playing this event feels now. Naturally, I will start with this quest. Only takes a few minutes and I get some free stuff. I like free stuff. I wish the eggs would drop more crystals of truth, because right now they are inferior to just firing the base arena, as they only drop stacks of 3, 10 or 15, and if you're lucky, maybe some red essences. I get surprised every year when I manage to clear this arena in under 2 minutes. Granted, I'm using other magic essences right now to score some 90 second runs, but I don't need those essences for anywhere else anyway. Now that the quest is done, I need to double check how many forfeit chests I need to buy to be able to pass all the bars in as few runs as possible on Terra the World Merciless. So it was 12 for Murdosh, 6 for Helios games, 1 for Sewers and Ghost Festival, 4 for Dragan, and 9 for Sargon, Winter, and New Year. If I had to describe each of the 15 arenas in one sentence or fewer, it would go like this. Nice throwback. Not funny. Didn't laugh. Q10 flashbacks. Big Dwarf's death speedrun any percent. Too easy. Why do enemies get aimbot here? I forgot this arena existed. The only place where getting one shot by a recruit is acceptable. Still better than its main event. Pumpkins. I miss this model. Give me terror gloves. Now. Made by Discord light mode users. Wait, so Frenzy, weren't there only 14 arenas last time? GSO managed to add a new arena with different color grading that is also fully functional? Okay, maybe not fully functional, judging by the lack of a countdown, as well as the guaranteed double drops even without buff. Also, it seems too easy right now as its spawns are identical to Ghost Festival Arena. Wait, what is that? The destroyer and his pony? <laughs> I can't with this! How did the ponies in this game go from this to this? Oh hey, that Evolve Forset guy from the Ancestral Ruins is back. And I get more free stuff. Okay, I need to kill Mortis in the arena. Wish I checked his quest before my first run, but that's okay. And apparently I also need to kill Mortis' twin brother on the ship. Well, I'm glad I didn't have extra slow loading this time because he has already finished spawning. Yeah, surely zero drops was intentional. And I surely didn't wait until the fix to try getting Dragon Balls from him. You have no proof. The soul pinellas should have the exact same drops as the golden pinella in Garden. And also, the 7 golden pinellas are also not the same, not just because of the regional ingredients, but also in base drops. Kings Hill, Elonidos, and Jarlshafen 
I'll drop 8 Tunchons and 5 Imperial Gems, while Murdos drops 12 Tunchons and 5 Gems, Cardon drops 20 Tunchons and 10 Gems, Yaltepetal drops 16 Tunchons and 10 Gems, and Haraja drops 18 Tunchons and 10 Gems. Despite the differences, each gold penale is worth it. I got one of my Tunchons by completing the event, 3 from Grima, and the other 3 by opening the regular penales until I got the Tunchons from 3 different vendors. There are also ghost-like mount recolors. Weirdly enough, they come with base 6 move speed, but if you have the horses and wild beasts 2 speed bonus, it will apply to these as well. The Mark of Bravery quest is still required for me to enter the challenge arena, but luckily it can still be done on normal. To my surprise, this year it only took me 10 minutes thanks to shorter loadings than last year. However, what took me more time is actually clearing the boss arena itself. Now playing with at least 3.5 million health character with fast and reliable breaks had quite an effect on my runs. I only did 3 runs in order to complete the last bar as the mini event will allow the chest to drop lost treasure maps where each will be worth 25,000 shiny dust among other things. There is also this new amulet that drops from the golden chests just like the ring. The amulet has a strong healing effect, recovering 10% health per second for 10 seconds. As with every anniversary, the uncharted treasure maps are back, and as per tradition, I have to try my luck with 50,000 ender maps. That was quite disappointing, to say the least. Before I go, I want to show the process of crafting and opening 90 cakes. This was taken from the test server while the cake ingredients were dropping more frequently. As always, I will have a part 2 with me giving my opinion on the event changes, so come back whenever that happens. See you next time.